Welcome to another ID demonstration. Last time we showed you how an adversary in the middle attack is carried out to take over accounts protected with app-based MFA. We demonstrated EvilGenix up against Microsoft Authenticator, as well as up against our very own Authen by ID. To recap on those videos, please check the links in the description. This time around, we're showing you the very same attack, adversary in the middle, and how this is executed successfully up against the popular MFA solution from one login called Protect. First of all, please note that this video is for demonstration purposes only. What we can see here on the left is EvilGenix. This is an open source phishing kit. It can run on any operating system unrestricted, making this type of attack very easy to execute. On the right, our victim has received a phishing email, allegedly from the one login team, advising the user that they should click on the link to unblock their account. Suspecting nothing, our victim goes ahead. Now check the URL in the address bar. Our victim has been directed to gotg.iideee.com. Unfortunately, users are just not paying attention to this and they will carry on if the page looks right. Over in Ebogenix, the hacker can see that there is now a new visitor and our victim continues to input their credentials. They're now just waiting for an OTP, which is a one-time password. We can see this on our victim's second device and this is step one of the fish. The user is on the fake site and to them, everything looks normal. Back to the left-hand side of the screen, we can see that the authentication tokens have been intercepted. It's displayed here in EvilGenix in green. The next step is for the attacker to access the authentication token. But at this point, the attacker already has everything that they need. Here we can see the sessions. Session 22 is what we just watched. So our hacker is going to pull that up on the screen. And here is the authentication token. And this is step three. So now all the hacker needs to do is simply copy this authentication token and come over to the real one login website. Now using nothing more than a simple cookie editor, the hacker deletes the existing session cookie and adds the stolen authentication token. A quick refresh. And now the attacker has gained full access to the victim's account. They can now perform a complete account takeover. They can start spreading malware or infected ransomware files amongst a whole host of other malicious activity. Unfortunately, even with MFA in place, yet again we can see that an adversary in the middle attack is still possible. The authentication token was still intercepted in this demonstration and the account was breached. As you can see, First generation OTPs cannot fully protect users from all types of credential phishing or password based attacks. As hackers become more sophisticated, organizations need better protection. For full protection, users should use next generation phish proof MFA such as Authen by ID.